prime time spot. Please, let's go. Let me make you red too, Vampy. Sorry, it's my first time streaming since the sudden separation. Okay, so you guys, you're watching Rate the Date. As you can see, the number one dating show on the platform. Now your boy got two shows, a double dose of Rate That Date. Check me out twice on Friday. So this is our last show. This is how the show works. We got a beautiful bachelorette on today's show. And uh, if she can, please request the box. And we got three contestants that can also request the box. And we're going to get to know the bachelorette. We're going to get to know the contestants. She's going to ask each person a couple of questions. You're going to make two eliminations. She's going to pick one of those two, uh, one of the three guys, and then get to know him off the platform. They're going to tune back in next Friday at 11 p.m. And they're going to give us a bit of an update. All right. Let me give y'all, speaking of updates, on our last show, as you can see on the official Rate the Date name tag, you see it there, you see a name called Molly. Our top gifters from the last episode were Pure Molly. Um, big shout out to you. Um, we also had Brit at the number two spot. We had Queen Paloma, who was actually chosen by our bachelor. We had Max Pacific, and then we had Brandon, our last bachelor. He made enough time to also be featured on the uh, top gifters. Um, so big shout out to them. Can I get a round of applause to all of our top gifters? And that's not the only time to make official rate the date name, uh, uh, the name tag. Also midway in the show. So y'all guys, y'all's little gifts that you're gonna be sending, send those and I'll feature y'all midway in the show and also feature you on the official rate the date instagram account so enough about that thank y'all so much i appreciate y'all for tuning in and welcome back to y'all can i get a nice little welcome back for the ladies and gentlemen and how about we get our bachelorette in the show let's get to know her she goes by the name of faith and let's get to know her a little bit hey Hey, how we doing? Good, how are you? Hold on, let me make you a little bit. Hold on. Let me adjust your size just a little bit. You look beautiful. You look lovely, as always. Um, so, the lovely Faith, I got some random facts about you. And how about we get to know you just a little bit more? It says, I love to create art. And tell us a little bit about that. People might have seen you on the Instagram flyer. And I there was a reason why I threw paint all over the place. What, what, what is your artistic endeavor? So I love to do anything that involves art. Right now, I'm actually a face painter at Disney, and I do henna, and it's so much fun. And I love to create different looks on myself every day. So I usually pick, like, one of my favorite characters. This week, I turned myself into Sully from Monsters, Inc., and then I did Mike Wazowski, and yesterday I did Boo. So I just like to have fun. Switch it up. I love it. I love it. And um, hopefully, um, maybe you'll find somebody that you can uh, that can fit in, in your portrait, so to speak. All right. It says also here, I have four SpongeBob tattoos. Yes. Do you have <laughs> a hand that you can show us? I out one of my Patrick ones. Well, I have Patrick right here holding mm -hmm. an ice cream cone, and there's Doodle Squidward. Then I have the fish that says my leg i don't know if you guys know who that is but fun fact i have a metal ankle so i got that tattoo to pretty much make fun of myself and then i have spongebob on my side blowing bubbles but that one's really old so it's kind of got spongebob by your bikini bottom <laughs> i hate my life all right moving right along speaking of water it says ranch water is my favorite go-to drink nowadays so but for those that don't know, what is a ranch water? I know what it is. It's a very light. You're watching the calories these days. Well, 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 why the ranch water? So that's not my reason for it. My reason is because I prefer my liquor straight. I don't really like mixed drinks, especially fruity drinks. It's never been my thing. A ranch water is just so refreshing. It's tequila, club soda, and lime. And I just like how refreshing it tastes. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's always, when people ask for seltzers, uh, I say, you know, the ranch water is right there. All right, well, enough about that. We have three guys that are going to be 
three guys. What am I talking about? We'll see who we have in the box. Let's let the first person in. We got Stud Barbie. Welcome to the official Rate the Date show. We have also somebody joining in here. We can uh, real deal. I mean, we got a couple couple people. So if I could have them, please request the box so we can get to know them a little bit. I think we had. Um, I asked a couple people to be on the show today. Osama, join in the box. Um, also, Brandon, if you're here, join in the box. We'll get y'all in. We'll get y'all in for sure. How's it going, Osama? You looking good, stud? Yo, my Thank bad. I, I was waiting for, I didn't, I was, my bad. I didn't act socially awkward. Hey, ladies, what's up? Yo, stud, what's good? Hey. Yo, I can't believe this right now, guys. I just met Osama last week. We just became, oh, yeah. started to become good friends, and now we're competing for the same girl. How you gonna do that? <laughs> hey, we always find a way to kind of mix and mix and match on uh, on the show. And uh, Brandon, I see you request some box, but if you could hold on to the next round, maybe oh. we can feature you in the second round. So, yo, I right, know him too. Wait, I know him too. I have him saved. Yo, what's good, man? Let, let's let's get to know let's get to know stud a little bit all right stud it says i can make a clover with my tongue we gotta see it yeah guys i got a couple of tongue tricks y'all this is the this is the three leaf clover y'all the really lucky lucky corner hey now oh, God. yeah i don't know about that you gotta make the taco and then you gotta pull in the taco <laughs> taco the taco is anybody else hungry all right so um also i see you guys are throwing some gifts you know the my um admins are going to be the voice of reason for me they're going to be the voice of me in the chat so there's going to definitely be showing some love and i'm going to be giving y'all some sign language and definitely make sure to favorite all of my contestants and the lovely bachelorette all right moving it right along stud i got one more fact about you it says i can rap and sing can you give us yeah, a little guys. taste can you give us a little taste of what you sound like? I give you a little something, a little something, a little song for you guys. I see you driving around town with the girl I love, and I'm like, forget you. I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough, and I'm like, forget you and forget her too. Said if I was richer, I'd still be with you, yeah. Ain't that some ish? That's all y'all get. That's all y'all get. That's all y'all get. I love it. I love it. I, 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 I just, just give her a round of applause, man. You know, being able to be that talented. <laughs> I can only do country music. My voice doesn't get that high. All right, enough about me. Well, we're moving on to Osama. Osama, how are you? What's up? Wow. I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dorian. Shout out to you. Big shout out to Dorian Gray. Appreciate you for having me. It's a pleasure. All right. I'm all right. How are Osama, you? I got, I got some uh, random facts about you here. It says, I love a loyal, genuine woman. Um, what is it about loyalty specifically that you appreciate? Um, I didn't know we were using that now, but um, all right, yeah, we can do that. I guess we could I'll speak on it. Uh, Osama, uh, you're on rate the date. Uh, uh, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, it's more of like, I just really appreciate like, you know, like people with good, so women with good soul, like what a good soul and like, you know, genuine vibes, maturity. You know I'm saying like a woman that's fully blossomed and I know what she wants. And that's just like, not really like all over the place and, uh, true to herself and her surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Well, fair enough. Okay. And, um, it says here, let me give them another random fact about you. It says, um, I am, uh, it says, I am a, a nerd low key. Like I like to game. Is this true? Yeah. And I love anime too. Yeah. Okay. So how would, how, how would somebody like you make gaming romantic? Hold on, I'm about to know. I wasn't really thinking. I mean, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I should have thought more into that. I was just like giving random facts about myself. Okay, all right, moving right along. All right, uh, to over here to Brody. Brody, how we doing? It's good, man. It's a real deal. Brody just took my. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, real deal, real deal. What up? So, real deal. I have some random facts about you. It says here that you have a culinary background. So, 
What 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 type of food are you cooking up? Uh, I love Italian food. That's my go-to. So Italian yeah. food, okay. I can cook anything, man, but Italian is my, my awesome, favorite. awesome. Okay, and another thing here, uh, it I think he could keep you a little bit protected, Faith, because it says yes, two black belts. What you get? Where do you get two black belts? Uh, from a, a lot of years of training, a lot of years. All right, all right. Enough about the uh, about our ladies and gentlemen on today's show. Faith, I asked you to come up with some questions for our contestants. You got those on hand? Yeah. All right. We'll have Stud be contest number one, Osama be contest number two, and then we'll have Real Do be contest number three. So Let's start off with Stud. What question do you have lined up? All me? right. So contestant number one, and I'll just call you Stud. What is your favorite physical attribute about yourself? Uh, my favorite physical attribute about myself is gonna it's gonna be my height. I'm I'm not crazy tall. I'm five eight. That's above average for women, and that's above average for studs. So when I go out, I don't have to have all the bells and whistles. I stand out like a giraffe. <laughs> all right fair enough fair enough yeah a little above average for 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 a lovely lady all right moving it along over to osama get osama out of his comfort zone hit him with one of them questions all right osama um what is a red flag for you in a relationship uh a woman that got a I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to come off insecure, like whatever, whatever, touchy. But like a woman that got like a, like a, like a, like a best guy friend that's constantly with her, getting drunk with like the guy on the low, like together. Like I don't know, just like a guy like she called claims as like her brother, her cousin. That's not really her family. Like dealt with a lot of the like, a lot of like. Woman, uh, I'm not gonna say like all women like that, but one of color and culture and a lot of domestic violence, like they like toxic and fighting, and they like to cling on to certain men that they know, like they, it wouldn't really work like that, but they're just friends and they, I don't know, like they intimately grow together, like in a sexual way, but like covered up as like cousin and brother. Those are some weird shit. Like that's like a red flag to me. All right, this is a future show, so if we could hold the language uh, or any, you know, inappropriate type of behavior, but it's okay, Osama. I feel like you're drawn from personal experience. You almost like took us to that exact moment. All right, moving it right along to Real Deal. Real Deal, what question um, What question you have lined up for Real Deal, uh, Faith? All right, Brody, so if you could disappear and start a new life, what would that life look like for you? Hmm. Um, I think I, I actually would live a lot of the same, I would do, I would live a lot of the same life. I, I love my life and I love the way that things have turned out. Okay. So he's very content with uh, how he's doing things right now. So it, maybe it would be a different place, but same him. All right. Moving it back over to the lovely stud. What question do you have for stud? Um, all right, Stud, so what is the most wild thing you've ever done to get attention? The most wild thing i ever done to get attention? I, I pants myself. Uh, I, did a, I did a show. Uh, I did a show on live, and we did a rehearsal. And uh, during the rehearsal, we, did, we performed the Lazy Song. And um, during the song, if you guys remember the Bruno Mars video, he says that uh, he's going to put his hands in his pants, and he pulls down his pants and, uh, you know, I was the only one in the family who did it during the rehearsal, and I ended up posting on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, definitely. We got to definitely go check that out. And speaking of check that out, you definitely got to check all these guys out. Guys and gals, let me be politically correct. Oh, um, we got the lovely Faith. We have all of our contestants. They all are streamers on the platform, so make sure to give them a favorito. That's Spanish for favorite. All right, moving it over to Osama. Uh, let's see Osama squeam and squirm. Ask him, hit him with one of those questions, Faith. Uh, Osama, what is the biggest boundary that you have in relationships? Other than her having a guy best friend. 
I mean, I believe like I'm 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 a classic. I got an old soul. Like I'm like I'm old. I'm like I'm old school. Like I I want to be one on one with my my woman. I sh- like I would love to be best friends and lovers. You feel me? Like I like what? What other man is better to go to than me about anything? About oh, anything? fair enough. All right, fair enough. Yeah. So he doesn't also want. Sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. My... No, He's you're fine. Yeah, not also. Not only does he want a woman, but she also he also wants to have some commonalities. He wants that person to be his best friend in life. You know, can't fault him on that one. He's getting better as the show progresses. All right, moving right along over to Real Deal. What question do you have lined up for Real Deal? All right, Real Deal. What is the most ridiculous thing you've ever purchased? Uh, two black belts. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, okay. For my kids, I purchased like a $1,500 bouncy castle that got used once. That was a pretty ridiculous. Interesting. Interesting. (laughs) So he, he does have children. How many children do you have real deal? I have four kids. You you have what? I have four. I have two boys and two girls. Whoa, full house over there. So bouncy house definitely is, um, is something that's going to keep the, all of them entertained. All right, moving it back over to uh, Stud. But um, while you think about that question that you're about to ask Stud, we got to let them know what they're tuning into. This is Rate the Date, the number one dating show on the app. We are back, baby, after the split over here at a different time. We got a t- prime time spot over here on Fridays now at 11 p.m. Eastern time. We got the beautiful miss faith and we got these three contestants we are in the first round after this round somebody unfortunately is going to get eliminated but even the eliminated contestants go into a group chat and we try to get everybody hooked up on the show if they don't call me dory anybody can get a date for no reason all right after that we move into round number two where we also double up the questions so after that they make their uh faith's going to make her final pick her and that person are going to get to know each other off of the app the book of face the snap of all chats the grandma all instance whatever the kids are calling it these days. And they're going to tune back in next Friday at 11 p.m. and give us a bit of an update. Speaking of updates, we also had Brandon, who was in here earlier. He picked Queen Paloma, and we'll be hearing from them at the end of this episode. All right, back to you, Faith. What question do you have lined up for Stud? All right, Stud, describe your love language. My love language... Definitely, you know, physical touch for sure. But being that most of my relationships has been long distance lately, it's been acts of service. Like it's it's got to be actions, not words. Okay, so definitely, com- uh, that's the first time I've heard somebody that like uh, like conforms their love languages to be more realistic based off of distance. That's that's at least a, a little sign of maturity there. All right, moving over to Osama. What question do you have lined up for Osama? Osama, what are you dying to do in your next relation or try in your next relationship? I've never had one. You've never had a relationship before? I've never okay. had a girlfriend before. Like a proper, like, So if you were to get a girlfriend, what is something that you would love to try in your relationship? Don't talk about it, be about it. Or... I was just about, wait, my bad. Can you repeat what you said? All right. So since you've never had a girlfriend, if you were to get a girlfriend, what is one thing that you would say you would be looking forward to in that relationship? Um, consistency. Consistency how? In any area that I see fit or like that I feel like that needs, needs to like, I don't know, touch up on. Like, I feel like, like when I speak on that, I'm like I'm referring to like how I am overall as a as an individual like person. Like when it comes to like dealing with women, I don't like labels and all that. Like I don't like care for all that. Like I don't like get up with a, a woman and try to play nice and you know get in cahoots and like you know like quickly you know what I'm saying like expedite the process of getting to her heart. You feel me? Just so I can get some you know ha- have fun. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like nah. Like I, I like to like go through flow and like get, get along with her and like exercise and doing all kind of stuff all over. Like I'm saying, like be like you know, like you know, I don't know, spontaneous and just do uh, whatever. Like see how like how well we get along for real, for real. 
All right, fair enough. So whatever it is, he wants a lot of it. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, back over to Real Deal for his third question. What you got in store for him, Steph? All right, Real Deal. What are you most passionate about? My kids. Your kids? Yeah, children. Makes sense. It's a go-to answer for a father. See right there, right? That's that's what I leave behind when I'm not when I'm not here, and uh, I don't, I can't think of anything. That's a good answer. Yeah, well, I mean, Mr. Doreen doesn't have any kids, but I aspire to be a father one day. Maybe one day, when uh, when Mrs. Yeah, Gray, yeah, Mrs. Gray comes along. Speaking of Mrs. Gray, season five, tune in. Season five, it's all Dorian, all Dorian. Season five. All right, moving back over to the lovely stud for her final question of the first round. What you gonna hit her with, Faith? Um. What does romance in your partner look like for you? Mm. Romance with my partner it looks like intimate time. It looks like quality time where we're focused on each other. We could be doing an activity with each other, we, um, going out and about, or just chatting, but it would be just just us two being focused on each other. I love that. As long as, it's, <laughs> as long as it's you and your partner, what, what what can go wrong, right? All right, what question do you have lined up for Osama? This will be his last question of the first round. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, what animal would it be? Oh, thank you. I like that. I like that question. It's going to be a black panther, a jaguar, a okay. black panther. Like fully black, like that, like specifically the cat from Avatar with the big blue people. Yeah. And why specific? Why is it specifically a black cat? Because that's my spirit animal. Okay, um, what commonalities do you have with the black cat? What does that mean? Like, what? What do you? What? How do you connect with? What, do you think that's your spirit animal? How do you connect with the black cat? I've always thought about it and leaned towards it. And like, I feel like anytime I've seen it in like an animation or whatever, or a movie or anything like that at all, like even like uh, documentaries, like, I don't know. I feel like I just like, been like, I don't know, just like it's my favorite animal. I don't know, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's like my favorite animal. I've just always been saying that to myself for years. I don't really know. I heard black right, cats are bad luck. Yeah, black cats aren't bad luck. Fair enough. I just All right, heard. moving over to real deal for the last question of the first round. What well, make this one count, Faith? What question do you have for real deal? What is the aspect of dating that you hate the most? Aspect of dating that I hate the most. I think I think that whether or not it's going to go to the next level. Right? like whether or not it's going to take that step if it's an unknown factor right and i don't know i think i'm like most humans I mean, we don't really like the unknown so okay. well fair enough that's a good way to end the first round can i give it up to our awesome contestants they all did a good job can i give a round of applause to our contestants and the beautiful bachelorette and chat give yourself a round of applause Shout off to dorian gray uh all right, and uh, so this Rolling is what's going to happen, Faith. Rather than picking the person that you want to eliminate, how about you start off with picking the person that you want to keep around and give us a reason why. So without further ado, chat, can we get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Who is going to be the first person moving into round number two? Um, I would say Stud. Stud, congratulations. You made it into <laughs> round number two. All right. Here's where things get a little bit more heated up. Who is going to be the next person that is going to be moving into round number two and give us a reason why? Chat, can we get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Faith, who is going to be moving into round number two? So the last person. I would say real deal, just because I feel like he sounds like he lives up to his name he keeps it real and Damn, keeping it real he focuses um, on like what's important in life i guess i don't know exactly. yeah oh thank you osama it's always a pleasure having you on thank the show you. nice meeting you osama no but i second that because i got bro faith and i got stuff faith too 
They both. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win win for everybody. Uh, Osama, is there anything you want to plug before you go? Any auctions? Any I was, thank you so much for having me again. I appreciate you. And uh, it was nice seeing y'all. It was nice seeing y'all. Like, for me, this was actually kind of fun. This is actually more fun than I thought it was going to be. I thought y'all were going to be random. And shit. I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, so this was more fun. It was nice meeting you too, Faith. You're sweet. You know what I'm saying, sweetheart? You know what I'm saying? You got a nice smile. And thank you again, bro. Appreciate you. Have fun. Always. Always a pleasure having you. Until next time. Yeah, he loves black cats. I would have said a clouded leopard. Um, uh, um, what? Um, but enough about that. I hate my life. Moving into round number two, we're going to double up the questions. Each person is going to get eight questions apiece. So, um, with that being said, we might have, you know, sometimes we might surprise you guys with a little bit. How about we add another oh, contestant to the mix, time. doubling it up. Um, <laughs> what up, Brandon? Got all my people out here, yo. Shout out to Stud Barbie in the building. You know what I mean? <laughs> Starting with about the Rainbow Raid, talk shit to you. Oh, 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 talk, talk, talk stuff. And then my boy, real, real doing staying on business out here. Staying on business. All right, Brandon. Brandon, we got you back on. We're, you're going to be jumping into round number three. And we got um, a couple of questions for each of y'all. But, Brandon, before we get into that, let's l catch the people up with who you are. Give us two random facts about you that we wouldn't know just based on looking at you. Oh, two random facts. Uh, I was almost a foster kid when I was eight years old. Came from a straight gutter business and pulled myself out the mud by my bootstraps. South Detroit, real deal city gritty stuff you know what i mean and then number two my father of two daughters if you guys didn't hear last time i was on here whatever i talked a little bit a little, a little bit but i got a nine to ten year old daughter 13 months of the day so uh girl dead all the compassionate all that good stuff you know what i mean yeah it's it, it, it's it looks like it's the studs versus the stud so let's get into the show all right how about we how about we switch things up and we'll ask the lovely faith a question starting off with brandon what question would you like to ask faith maybe a relationship deal breaker maybe something you would just like to get to know a little bit more about her I so i love being on the spot i feel like before i was a little bit more prepared i like that on the spot stuff off the cuff stuff so here's my thing what's the uh what do you when you like get into a relationship because i'm a big like chess player i always look forward you know what i mean i always say versus my past experiences i've seen i've this this and this What's the biggest thing that you want to overcome when starting a relationship? So in your mind, the things that you want to combat and, and mediate when you get into this, this has always been a problem for you, for instance, maybe infidelity, maybe this, maybe trustworthiness, whatever it is. What's the biggest thing for you that you're like, I want to get ahead of this. I want to get it done, get it out of the way, make it happen. Um, not thinking that every man is going to eventually end up cheating. So like a pre, a pre conceptualized idea, basically you want to establish somebody's character off jump. You don't want to have to have somebody prove themselves every day, but you want to establish the character off jump. And so when something happens, if it might be a little questionable, you want to defer to their judgment. Okay. Just because I was married before and divorced for that reason. Likewise, so I don't put likewise. anything past anyone and I'd rather not think of the worst case scenario and just think of the best. I yeah, feel that you, got, you got to speak those affirmations, that positivity into those relationships, the most important thing that we surround ourselves with. All right, moving it right along to real deal, real deal. What question you have lined up for Faith? And Faith, it seems like you're starting to learn how to have them, some, in a relationship. Faith, Faith, I hate my life. All right, real deal, what question do you have lined up for her? Um, what does your perfect first date look like? Mm. So, for and me, the perfect, the not, perfect response afterwards is, oh, it's funny because I was just about to take you on that. <laughs> I would say it doesn't, like, I'm not one of those girls where it matters where you take me. If I can enjoy just being in your presence and we could just talk and laugh. I love laughing. So anyone who can make me laugh, like, just... I guess that type of intimacy. It's just there's just no pressure. I don't know. All right, so she gave you. She wanted to step further. Little things. I'm not really one of those like girls. <laughs> huh? Going to the comedy show then? You want to laugh? That would be a good first date. Yeah. Yeah, but she gave you a little insight, real deal. If you are able to make her laugh, that lets you know that you're doing a good job. And speaking of first dates, um, stud, stud. You, I remember you were telling me about how you would court your partner, but she asked you, um, what what question would you like to ask the lovely Faith? Oh, Faith, I, I would want to know, um, 
you know, I'm moving in a direction where I might get a lot of publicity. I'm working on being a macro influencer. So how do you feel about being coupled with like a celebrity and going into fame? I love I feel like I'd look beautiful on the light with you. <laughs> <laughs> Arm candy. I feel like I'm, I'm working on doing thing. the same. So I just feel like instead of being intimidated by it, why not join me? But that's just me. Awesome. So what I was initially getting to was um, y'all talked, uh, uh, Real Deal asked her what would be her ideal date, but bringing it back over to Brandon um, to let him catch up a little bit and let the audience get to know him a little bit. Brandon, how, what type of date would you take Faith on? Jeez, you know, I'm kind of, it's tough because I'm him, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's just one of those things that are just, you know, unparalleled. For me personally speaking, if I'm really trying to lay it on thick, I'm going to cook. I'm, 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 Cause I could take you somewhere. The guys on his truth is, and then on my kids, on my kids, I've taken, I've taken women to steakhouses, four hundred fifty dollars on dinner, and they go, I'd rather have a steak at your house. So I'm a cook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in, put the love in. You know what I mean? Put the care and the TLC in, right? And make it happen. And make it personal. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna keep it cool, and we're gonna spend some time. I'm a quality time person. Love language. You know what I mean? I like to be. You know what I mean? Right here with you and me. Wherever it is, wherever we're at, that's where it's at. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it personal. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna exchange ideas. I wanna see who you are. Well, fair enough. And a way to definitely coerce somebody back into your humble abode with uh, treating them and sometimes what they feel is of uh, being able to feed their soul straight through their stomach. All right, moving it back over to a real deal, real deal. What what would be your ideal date? Paint us a picture on what where you would take the lovely faith. Where I would take her? I like to see, I'm, I'm also... I'm very similar to Brandon there. Like, you know, I'm I'm a stay at home kind of guy and just enjoy enjoy the company. And, you know, I love to cook. I, I really enjoy it. So like, I, I went to school and and uh, like I'm globally certified to, to cook anywhere. So next show, real deal cook off for Brandon. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. I was like, all right, let's have a cook off. Whoever moves on to the second round, who, who who she likes to dish best. All right, moving it over to Stud. Stud, we're we're not saying you have to be have any type of culinary influence, but if you had the chance to take the lovely Faith out on a date, paint us a picture. Well, I mean, I have to take her to t to get tacos. She's a taco connoisseur, so I have to take her to get tacos. Um, if her cat, if her location is not catfish, then we gotta go to Sloppy Taco Palace, which is in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's a hole in the wall uh, spot, but it's it's amazing fish tacos. And uh, then I'll show you around Universal Studios like you never seen it before, cause I got the inside info. Hey now, man, <laughs> she it's like she had that answer lined up uh, these guys are getting better and better as the questions are going by all right bringing it back to brandon Turn up. and back over to you faith and handing the show back over to you what question do you have lined up for contest number one okay so <laughs> if you were ruler of your own country what is the first law that you would introduce that's a good question that's an interesting question because you, there's a little bit of a moral triage there, right? Like when you respect people's individual freedom and you allow people to be left to their own devices, there's certain governing ideas that you can't really impose on people, right? So the idea, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Futurama, but like Bender at one point down his robot was a, was a god, right? He speaks to God and he goes, well, what do you do? He goes, if you're really good at what you're doing, they're never going to know you're there. So you want to influence and guide people, especially as a father. I want to influence and guide people and stuff like that. I would like to say respect is the number one aspiration priority of people. We should all seek to respect one another and try to understand one another. I think when we have under, uh, understanding comes from peace, right? You know what I mean? So when we're, when we're peaceful, when we understand things, you know, we're at peace. When somebody's not capable of doing something, you get mad at them, you just understand they're not capable of that. So I would really want, I would, I would really push the idea of respect and peace and understanding one another. And just the idea that I think that's going to fix a lot of problems in the world. I think fundamentally, if we do that, a lot of stuff subsequently falls into place. That's awesome. Yeah, I always say, if even if there's somebody that you're directing your anger towards, if you could find that one grain of salt that you can connect with and appreciate, even if it's like, well, they do have very, 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 very nice eyelashes. All right, moving oh, it over to. I appreciate the comment. I, I, I do. 
<laughs> All right. Well, um, what question do you have lined up for real deal? What is your type? What is my type? That's a very broad question. I know. <laughs> It could be physical, it could be mental, sapiosexual, demiosexual. I don't know what the kids are calling it these days. Just so, any yes. type of commonalities that you find in women that you're attracted to. I think intelligence is a really, really big thing for me. If I, if I can't hold a conversation down with my partner, she's not going to be my partner. Um, also, like, experience, too. Uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm 38 years old, so... No, I, I'm not looking for high school mentality. Well, well fair. Answer. Yeah, fair enough. You 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 are an experienced uh, man, and so you want somebody that can meet you halfway, not somebody who's go that's going to be uh, talking about the latest uh, reality TV show and you know who's doing this and who's doing that. That makes sense. All right, moving it over to Stud. What question do you have lined up for Stud Faith? What is your favorite thing about yourself? Um, well, my other favorite thing about myself is is for sure my smile. It's not perfect. You know, I got some crowding coming because of my wisdom teeth is coming in. However that happens, I don't know. But, um, you know, for sure that, that smile, and I, it's a weapon. It's a weapon. You know, you can hit somebody with it, give them a smile, and now they're infected, and it just keeps going on and on. So I definitely, and I withhold it too. Some people are like, why are you not smiling at me? And I'm like, yeah, you know I'm not smiling at you right now. <laughs> and she all made a smile with that answer. It's like she has these, like, lined up, Faith. You're, like, pandering to her. Um, All right, moving it back over to the lovely Brandon. What question do you have lined up for B? Let's see. What is something that people are always surprised to learn about you? Uh, I run the risk of sounding here again. I stand on business, and I mean that. I'm gonna be. I, I'm just please bear with me when I say this. I try very, very, very hard, right? Because of um, my personal experience, and I see a lot of guys not checking off their boxes, right? I'm not a huge person on societal norms and everything like that, but I do believe there's at some level of society, regardless of situation, you need to fill a societal role. However, you choose to identify in that situation, man, woman, whatever the situation is, right? There's certain roles: protector, provider. You know what I mean? Like to be compassionate, to be understanding, et cetera, et cetera. So, for me. I pride myself in being a person that checks off all the boxes and then more, right? I do everything I possibly can. That means I'm emotionally intelligent. I can understand the range of emotions and I can communicate even though I seem like a stoic man, right? But I'll also uh, slap a taste buds out somebody's mouth for being disrespectful. You know what I mean? I grew up in the Detroit area. Like even nerdy motherfuckers. Oh, even nerdy people throw hands where I'm from. You know what I mean? So like, I'm like, I stand on business like that. You know what I mean? Man's man, but also like I'm, I'm a, I raise daughters. I gotta be compassionate. I gotta understand how women are. I was raised by women. I gotta identify that you don't think, you don't think about things like that. You know what I mean? So this very wide range of things, I feel like I check off all the boxes. And that's, and to me, it's again, it sounds arrogant or whatever, but I worked very hard to do that. So when somebody says that, they're almost like, where is the fault? Like, wait, you know what I mean? Like, what is, what's the catch here? You know what I mean? And it's hard to describe. It really is. You know what I mean? From like a, to try to just be humble. It's very hard to describe that to somebody without sounding some type of way. But I worked very, very, very hard my entire life to do that. So they'll see, no. like, you know, he, 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 God works both hands, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, definitely, definitely. And, um, but you kept it honest and uh, it's uh, true to your nature. And also here, Brandon, it says you broke the rate the date record for most words used in a one minute response. So congratulations to you. All right, move, move your <laughs> If it ever went, there ever was, it's a back in the comments. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> All right, moving it over to Real Deal. What question do you have lined up for Real Deal? What are some of your relationship deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, well, like, like I said it in the last, on the last question there right intelligence being able to hold a conversation yeah. um, that's a deal breaker for me i like it i don't know man i i really that, no that's a big one so yeah and, and i think another one too is just like i i've also was married and it ended because she cheated just, like if i see that type of behavior where you know it starts to lead my brain in a direction where i don't want it to go like that's kind of a, an end game Okay. I could almost see the frustration of him even thinking about what that makes him feel like. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it, that, again, that's 
<laughs> I've had instances where it's, you know, it's, it's hurt my heart, but I've also had an instance like with my ex-wife where it hurt my children. So it, for me, like I, my, my outlook is not just about myself and what right. my partner is going to bring to me. It's also about what my partner will be for my children too. And well, fair, fair enough. I love that insight and that insightfulness. Um, you do, you guys do have little ones that you got to care about. So that has to be a factor. And I think Faith also appreciates that. Are bringing it over to Stud, what question do you have lined up for Stud? If you could learn one skill instantly, what would it be? One skill instantly. One skill instantly. Like, well, you, I, I think like, I would want to talk like it speak all languages like just like that. Yeah, that's one thing that definitely crossed my mind. I want to memorize infinitely. Like just Ooh. like you tell me something and I remember it forever. It, it might be a burden, but I think and I think I'll learn more. You know, if I, re I just retain the information, you know. Yeah, the person with the the most amount of information is always deemed as that 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 intellectual type you know that makes perfect sense yeah. i don't kind know like if you, young sheldon kind of thing but not arrogant well it's like, a, it's like what you're saying is like you like limitless photographing memory right like you'd like to be able to retain information as soon as you see it but you wouldn't want to cap to it as yeah story. i like learning i don't like learning the same thing again i see that yeah <laughs> I want to keep it. I can't keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those that's like um, that. I'm like faith, 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 faith. All right, I'll remember your name now. All right, all right. Speaking of faith, welcome back, Faith. I think we have enough for one more question for each contestant. So bring it back over to Brandon. What question do you have lined up for his final question? What is your favorite Disney film? Oh. That's a good one. I really actually, so the funny thing is, is I used to be, uh, you asked me this on the last show, my, my dream, right, is uh, I was an art major before I was an electrician, and then I wanted to do uh, 3D art and animation, and uh, like basically like kids movies, that's what I wanted to do. I'd say probably my one of my favorite ones, that's Pixar, it's Big, Big Hero 6 is Pixar, I'd say my, my favorite Disney movie actually might be Frozen. Frozen? I got two dollars. You know how many times I've seen this? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I mean, for yeah. Disney, now, like, like, with kids' movies in general, I, I'm a big Hero 6 person. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Phenomenal movie. But uh, I get really into the whole thing. It was, like, in my craft at that point in time. I'm always looking at, like, how I, when I watch a movie or anything at all, I'm like, oh, this edit or the way they did this or the animation is very, you know what I mean? So I'm, like, very, like, the nuances are important to me. But I think new, I think uh, Frozen did a good job. Yeah, I think from this. I think, I think, I think. I think I think this this group specifically, I think everybody's real true to their character. I can see exactly that like what our of six year old selves exactly would 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 be like. All right, moving it back over to real deal for his last question. What question do you have lined up for him, Faith? What is one small decision you made that had a huge impact in your life? Awesome. A small decision. Well, I walked into a gym one day. That that needs to be the that needs to be the that needs to be the title of your self help book. <laughs> but for real, like I, I walked into a gym one day, and twenty years later, I have two black belts of twenty one fights under my belt. That's he's killing it. You gotta you gotta show us the video. <laughs> All right. Now for the final question, going out to Stud, who's at our top spot over there. What question do you have lined up for Stud? Make it count, Faith. Do you have kids or ever plan to? I don't have any kids. I have a dog. If you just heard him bark, he just got home. He wants love. Oh. So I'll have to see him soon. He's eight. His name is Spencer. Um, I don't plan on having any kids, but you know, I will consider like extracting eggs, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not carrying. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we appreciate you your honesty. You want to carry the load. <laughs> you, it's funny how you said, like, 
my dog just got home. I just pictured him like taking his boots off and hanging up his hat. And he's like, oh, he's like, at the top of the stairs, staring at me with his beady eyes, like, come give me a kiss. Oh, that is awesome. Well, guys uh, and gals, I think y'all did great. Can we just have a round of applause for our lovely um, contestants today, rocking and rolling, and also the beautiful Faith for, you know, be, being such a good sport, stepping up as our bachelor at this episode. All right, Faith, you got three. I gave you three. I gave you another one. Another one. Um, and, and Read a bag. Unfortunately, you can't have them all. This is not the throuple episode. I mean, I'm not. So you gotta only pick one. So, who, who is gonna be the first person that is gonna be eliminated on today's episode? Can I get a drum roll, please? Um. Damn, I know it's tough. So let's, go through, let's, go, let, let's go through your choices just a little bit. All right. So we had Stud. Stud uh, told us about how, you know, she's going to connect with you and the type of date that she's going to take you on. She, You gave her a lot of questions that, um, that were, showed humility. She's like, I like my height. I like my smile. I know that I can get a couple of things with these things, but I choose to use them for better good. And you also had... Um, we know a uh, real deal. He can definitely uh, protect you. He walked into a gym one day. I think that's the name of his self-help book. I'm on chapter three. It's going good, by the way. And um, he told us a little bit about his uh, father-like mentality where, you know, he looks out for those little guys. He's trying to create a situation to best um, line them up for success. You also had Brandon. He came in here last minute, but he hit us with a lot in the amount of time that he had it. He told us the ins and outs of how his brain works, some of the things that he appreciates about others and how what he appreciates about himself. So without further ado, who is going to be the first person that you're going to eliminate? Chat, she might need your help. Who do you think? <laughs> I would probably say Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, maybe she didn't have enough time with you. Get out of here. <laughs> well, Brandon, Brandon, we love having you always. You did a great job, Brandon. Um, maybe it was probably because, um, you, you know, she didn't have enough time to really get to know you or whatever. But Brandon, um, Always a pleasure. Do you have any parting ways for the stream and anything you want to plug before you go? Oh, no, I'm trying not to be this guy, but I'm doing a battle royale for PYT. It's over on, so actually I've never, I don't go on Meet Me anymore, guys. And I'm not going to, but I know it's a feature show, but I did this for Dorian. Dorian's a phenomenal streamer. I don't, I'm looking at these numbers here. And I, I literally, and I'm, I'm not going to gas you up, bro. This is on my kids. You ready? This is on my kids. I literally think when I, I'm very, very, very particular about people and their content and substance and everything like this, this guy handles it. He's witty. He segues. He handles business. He stands. He just does his thing. You know what I mean? And I literally, again, like that guy said before, like I was like, it's a date show. I'm not sure. Whatever, whatever. Phenomenal, dude. It runs flawless. So you could literally probably be on TV, brother. And I really mean this. So when he came, and I'm not gonna discuss what I stopped doing to get the f over here, <laughs> fast Dorian. But somebody, but something I, tells I, me uh, that. Let's just say so, something tells me that he's he's a winner no matter what. <laughs> well, here's the deal. So I, on, I PYT on POF is doing a battle royale. And uh, so I'll be doing a battle royale on the 14th, 15th. You guys can check my IG if you want to. It's in my bio. And uh, and I lined up my bracket, so I got to put some top edge. It's not really doing a good job. But dirt. So if y'all want to come out and support your boy, just trying to make it happen out here on some street justice, some vigilante justice, come check me out on POF. I know it's a little weird. It's a little different. But I'm out there. We're still making it happen. And we're doing our thing. So uh, Real Deal knows the deal. Obviously, I talked to you about that as well, PYT stuff. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to come out and check the battle royale, that's the thing. If you want to just throw emojis, hearts, whatever the situation. Come on, guys. Bro, come on! Let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go, Brandon. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, 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 definitely to. Um, uh